Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Gabe, the Night Watchman. And Gabe and I are here, ready to react to a new trailer. This just got dropped a few hours ago, and this is for the movie Jersey. Now, this is a remake of the 2019 Telugu film. And this film stars one of my favorite actors, Shahid Kapoor, a man who commits to every single role that he's in and just takes it to that next level. This is directed by Gautam uh, Tenenori. And this is a film that Gabe and I reacted to the original film's trailer not too long ago. And we were so impressed with it that we were talking about watching it that night, reviewing it quickly. That never happened, but we were being serious about that because we were really, really impressed by it. And so this is a remake for uh, a Hindi language film. Gabe, it's about a cricket. Are you excited? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. And I think if I remember the first uh, uh, trailer correctly, it's about a struggling cricketer, right? A guy that either right. didn't make it or, or, you know what I mean, got cut. And I think to me, that's such an interesting story because so many of the sports films we watch is about the people that make it, right? And even in Rocky, that's why I kind of think Rocky is one of the most authentic because really Rocky was a journeyman. He's the guy that didn't make it. He's the guy that's over there and he just got selected by chance because of his name, you know, some marketing ploy because a guy got hurt exactly. last minute. But, you know, in the real world, whether it's boxing, cricket, baseball, basketball, you know, I tell my students all the time, I tell my own kids, listen, guys, 99.9% .9 of athletes do not make it. That's a, that's a huge percentage. So you're taking a huge bet on yourself when you go all in on trying to become a professional athlete. And unfortunately, there's so many unfulfilled dreams and you always feel like you got some more in the tank, but uh, but whether by circumstance, by chance, or just by sure uh, bad luck. Sometimes you got the talent, but aren't discovered. Or sometimes, you know, you're put in a position to succeed, but you don't just have the talent. So usually it, it, it goes hand in hand. And, you know, uh, it's it's one of the things I always tell people is, I don't have you ever heard of the Scalabrini Challenge? No, I don't think so. So uh, Bill Scalabrini or Brian Scalabrini was a player from the uh, uh, Boston Celtics. He's a local Boston boy, right? And he had got drafted. And the whole joke was he averaged like five points in his NBA career. And people used to bag on him all the time because he went high. He was like a second round pick or something like that. So he went out. He got so upset. This is, again, players listen to the media. The players listen to fans. And he's like, listen, I'm closer to the LeBron than you'll ever be to me. Like going off on the fans. And he's like, <laughs> here's a Scalabrini challenge. I think it was, look it up online, it's 25000 100 grand if you can beat me in a game of one-on-one -on -one pickup basketball. And, bro, semi-pros, college kids, high school kids, all came. My man went 44 and old cousin. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's <laughs> beat. Like, that's how good the worst NBA player is. <laughs> Take it that, that took he, it that seriously, huh? Oh, it's, it's got to be the challenge. And it's the same thing. No matter how bad, and we talk about these players, screen, we watch chicken, oh, you're trash. You dropped a... a, a, a Bro, those guys are closer to Sasha than me and you are closer to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, those, that's Absolutely. how talented these guys are. So it's amazing when people don't understand the level of talent that it takes to get to that to, to, to become a professional, a professional athlete. Yeah, and you can have all the talent in the world, but when you get to those bright lights, how are you going to perform as well? Um, we're going to go ahead and check this out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to see what Shahid has for us. And we're going to start this in three, two, one. Vidya, what do you have to do for the birthday? You have current bill of 100 rupees. If you don't pay today, then cut it. Kittu has never asked anything to ask me. I need 500 rupees, Vidya. Whatever you ask, you don't have to pay. I know you are in your account. I know? Okay. Ah, you've seen her before. He said the name. That's Hater. That's Hater. Yes. Family man. But you prove me wrong every single time. Oh. 
I like her as an actress. She's she's a fine actress. एक असिस्टेंट कोच की जगह खाली है क्लब में। वो ग्राउंड छोड़ गया सर। छोड़ा नहीं, भागा था तू वहाँ से। आखरी बार खुश तभी देखा था मैंने तुझे। नूर न रुकते, साबिर न मुकते। मैंने अपने पूरे करियर में तुझसे बेहतर बैट्समैन नहीं देखा। तेरी जगह तो टीम इंडिया में थी। तुम कितनी भी कोशिश कर लो, अब कुछ नहीं होने वाला। You had your chance and it's over now. How is the six? Ooh. यार सबसे बड़ा डर जानती है। जब मैं यूँ ही रह गया ना, तो वो भी मुझे वैसे ही देखेगा जैसे बाकी सब देखते हैं। उसकी नजरों में से कतरा भी कम मैं होन नहीं देंगा वि� Cool shot of him walking onto the past the boundary there, making that commitment. Oh, oh, passionate. It's time for you to decide. Tumko life mein kya chahiye? And if you choose cricket, हम तुम्हारे साथ नहीं रहेंगे। Man making his own bat, saving his bat, man. All right, so the only bummer there, and it is a bummer, is we didn't have any subtitles on that, which I'm kind of surprised. But um, this is a film that comes out December 31st. Luckily, Gabe and I saw the trailer for the 2019 one. Doesn't make ex us experts on the film, but we have the gist of the story. And this okay. seems to be a pretty true remake. Some things are different, obviously. But let me tell you, Shahid Kapoor is one of India's finest actors. And that's not me just blowing smoke. That's not me just trying to show that I, I know something about Indian cinema. This guy, as far as my, as what I have and my expectations for an actor, this guy's got it. He is able to take um, the character to that that desperate place, that passionate, to the edge of emotions, probably better than most that I've seen in Indian film. And that's, that's where his sweet spot is. And he, I mean, this role is perfect for him because you can see the frustration. You can see the desperation. You can see the, the family man who's happy with his kids, but he just feels like there's something missing. And even though we didn't have the subtitles, I feel like the, the images there translated very, very well. And, you know, what's her name? Thakur, what's her name? Um, Runal, Runal Thakur. She, she plays that part very well, where it's almost as if, like, I get you have a dream, but we have a family here. We have things to do right here. You had your chance. It didn't work out. You've got to let it go. But he just, he is such a fine actor. And this movie, I, I get it's a remake. I have not seen the original, which is why it looks really good. Because the original is so highly touted. But his acting skills is such at that level. It's perfect for this film. And again, when he crosses past that boundary into the oval there, that's just symbolic of him saying, all right, I'm in this all the way. Let's see what we can do. I'm very excited for this film. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, when you said the name, I'm not good with names, okay? But as soon as someone said, oh, that's that kid from Hater. Yeah, this guy's a savage, bro. He, he's really, yes. really good. And, you know, watching him in Hater, I was like, okay, this guy can, you know, there's a difference between being able to just play a role and being able to act, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I put him up yeah. there with, yeah, like like these method actors. I put him up there with, like, the, the guys that are committed, like, I'm going to batch him. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, Amir Khan, you know I love me some Amir Khan. The way he yeah. loses weight, he changes himself for each role. The way, that is the kind of actor he is. Where he's fully committed to this role. And I think the biggest thing about this is that, you know, as you're watching it, you can see the internal struggle. Like you said, you don't need subtitles. You don't need subtitles to tell you that, all right? You don't need words to tell you that. That could be a silent film where you can't make it alone. And the people you need to help you you know, to push you along, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, they, they, it's not that they don't believe in the dream, you know what I'm saying, bro? But to your point, we got a family and- we, Gotta be you know, realistic. You, yeah. you had your chance, you had your chance. 
And honestly, bro, you just don't make it alone. Having two kids now that are that that are uh, high school athletes, one that's a collegiate athlete at the moment. You know, my my brother played college ball. I play ball. You know, you got one person. Listen, one person, a family that made it out of the college ranks to the minor leagues, bro. That's a lot of people. And then Savannah's family. You know, her dad played a uh, uh, professional soccer. Her uh, grandfather, her nephew, right now plays for the um the the Chicago ah, Storm. I think it's called something like that. The MLS um team. Bro, it takes a village. It's a commitment to get somebody because you just don't realize how much time has to be dedicated. So I understand. And one of the things I tell my my son right now and any aspiring act, uh, uh, athletes out there, all I tell them is, listen, as long as it's you, you can always go all in. But once you got to worry about feeding a mouth, when you got once you got to worry about family, it's a different animal. So make good choices. Because my, you know, one of one is twenty one, the other one is seventeen, right? Make good choices. Because if you become a father at an early age, that's it then it's it's over. You know what I mean? Over. And um, man, he was in that situation. I, I honestly am so excited, and we'll be still on Christmas break during this vacation. So I think I know that the original came out, but since everybody's already seen that, I think maybe this is one of the ones we should uh, uh put on our list on our docket to watch. Well, if nothing else, we can do like a Drisham where we watch the original first and we watch this one. I mean. If it's a good story, it's going to translate in many languages. Let us know what you think about this one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're excited for it. Let us know what you feel. And until next time. You know, thanks.